Hi everybody, I'm Luke. This is a very, very special episode of Fishing Kaki TV here on fishingkaki.com. I'm going to cover our adopted charity, The Helping Hand, where they have just opened a wonderful little tackle shop called Big Fish. We are with Xiong, the CEO of The Helping Hand. Xiong, thank you for joining us today. Uh, I'm going to ask you a few questions on uh, The Helping Hand. So, tell us a bit about The Helping Hand. The Helping Hand is a halfway house for ex-offenders. Okay. Uh, our mission is to help ex-offenders rehabilitate and reintegrate back into society. How long has The Helping Hand been around and you know, tell us a bit of the history about the place. The Helping Hand has been around for 27 years. Uh, we started in a very small place in Chancery Lane and then uh, we went on working with the government very closely to help ex-offenders to stay on a straight and narrow. That's our passion. We like and we know how to help ex-offenders, especially ex-drug abusers. What are some of the guidelines that the Helping Hand uses to, to you know, keep them on that path? Some of our programs uh, that we offer to help ex-offenders is we offer them spiritual guidance. Uh, we teach them basic employment skills. Um, we give them relapse prevention skills. Um, we help them with family support uh, and guidance. And, uh, and then once they're released, we help them to find accommodation. Sure, what would be an example of uh, a basic employment skill? For you and I, you know, we take, we take uh, basic employment skills as basic. Yeah. Uh, when to come, how to dress, uh, what, what do you do when your supervisor tells you what to do. But for ex-offenders, some ex-offenders, uh, they've been selling illegal VCDs, they've been selling drugs. So basic, basic employment skills have to be learned. They didn't have the opportunities that you and I had. Right. Some of them came from broken families. Some of them were orphans. Yeah. So if you can just be a little bit patient with them, that's all they want. They're, they're, they're not asking for a lot. How do you guys look at the relapse prevention? Actually, it's quite common sense. Uh, don't mix with your old friends. You know, okay. Uh, mix with your old friends. Uh, they do drugs and it's very hard to say no. Okay. So don't mix with your old friends. Don't go to the places where you used to take drugs. Keep yourself busy with healthy hobbies like fishing. Okay. But the most important thing is you must have that uh, wish to change. And I think this is actually the core of rehabilitation that you want to change. And that's the most important. What are the social enterprises that are, that are happening here right now? See, at Helping Hand, uh, one of the very important programs is work therapy. So we need to create jobs for ex-offenders so that we can teach them basic job retention skills. So at the Helping Hand, we have two main social enterprises. We sell teak furniture okay. and we do house moving. And all our ex-offenders are put in jobs in these two social enterprises where they learn how to work and uh, work hard and, and earn a salary. With salary comes financial prudence, responsibility and, and you know, you know, everyday life uh, really money is yeah. one of the most important thing if not of the, course. Uh, the most difficult thing to manage you know. Especially life. in Singapore. Especially in Singapore. Especially in Singapore. How many moving trucks do you have here at the Helping Hand? Uh, at the Helping Hand, we have 15 moving trucks okay, and uh, uh, we do house moving, office moving, uh, we do a lot of work and the surprising thing is our ex-offenders do very, very well. They're very outgoing men and uh, house moving business is something that uh, really complements us. You don't need a skill, you need good strength yeah. and you need hard work and patience. I think that's good as well because uh, it can be viewed as exercise. Uh, uh, we, we do have a gym too, but uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, sometimes the gym doesn't get used because they've already exercised the whole day. Mad cardio for the whole yes. day, right? Exactly. Is any of the furniture built here? Furniture building skills are not so useful in Singapore. Okay. Uh, what is important is actually retail sales, uh, delivery services. We sell Indonesian teak furniture at very low prices. Okay. Uh, and that gives us 
sales jobs, uh, delivery service jobs. Yeah. So as you can see, you know, it's 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 the social enterprises are all interconnected, and that helps these ex offenders really integrate socially across, um, you know, a very good path back into society. The other important point is when uh, my colleagues earn a salary, it gives them a lot of self-confidence and self-esteem. That's very important in the rehabilitation process. I would agree because, uh, you know, back in the day, they would be spending money differently, but now they would be probably going to, say, buy a plate of chicken rice or nasi padang. Or giving some money to their wives and their mothers. Exactly, yes. their kids. And so I didn't, I didn't think about that. Yeah, so yeah, it's, it's much bigger than food. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's much, much bigger, bigger than, than food. Than, yeah. <laughs> but yes, you know, you're taking care of your mom, your dad and, and so what is the average age of uh, your clients here at the Helping Hand? So the average age of our clients range from 25 all the way to 60. 60? That's interesting. So being a little bit older, would they have a less demanding uh, job cycle here? What, what, what is the, the typical day of uh, you know, the older clients? So for the older clients or, or the uh, less physically fit clients, um, we have uh, jobs that are physically easier. For example, the laundry, we have a central laundry and uh, the person will do a laundry for all our 80 clients in Helping Hand. <laughs> um, we have kitchen kitchen work. Um, we feed 80 people six days a week, three meals a day. Uh, so they'll be working in the kitchen. Um, we have a sentry and an office work. Do you guys accept volunteers? Actually, volunteers play a very big part in our program. Sometimes, our clients see the staff of Helping Hand as people in authority. But our volunteers, they see them differently and they're more willing to discuss their problems and uh, uh, work with them. And our volunteers sometimes bring certain aspects of the rehabilitation program that we can't provide. For example, family love. So you have your, your teak furniture, you have a gym, you know, you have sentry, you have, I see you've got basketball. How does fishing fit into all of this? <laughs> so actually, um, that's a good question. You see, we need to give, teach our clients healthy hobbies, give them healthy hobbies to do. And I think fishing is something that uh, we hope to be able to pass on to as many of our clients as possible. Um, one day, it's my dream to own a boat and to be able to bring my clients out fishing every weekend. Yeah. So th these are things that uh, we have planned for our fishing uh, shop. Do you fish? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, do you have a do you have a favorite a favorite fish? I'm sure uh, you would like to know. I, I prefer sea fishing because okay. uh, I, I like being out in the sun and uh, in the wind. Uh, I like to fish garfish. It's a very small fish that nobody normally fishes. Uh, but they're always there and you should always be able to catch them and they are good eating. The ikan toda, which I must tell you is one of my favourite luring fish because they're always game to play. That's interesting, so we kind of have uh, the same uh, fish that we mess around with, uh, the garfish. Uh. And also says that you like uh, swatiam. Actually, garfish is swatiam. The oh, local then? name is swatiam. Okay. So I think you're talking about soda. Toda is a oh, little toda bit is different. different. Yes, okay, okay, different. okay. Toda so, is very different. Yeah. Hey, you know, you learn something every day, right? So, yeah, yeah. thank you very much. Well, that's Xiong, the CEO for the Helping Hand. We have learned uh, a very, a very great deal about what we are, do what they are doing here, and uh, fishingkaki.com has adopted them as their official charity because. Uh, we believe in passion and we believe what they're doing. We should all get together and help them here at 819 Upper Serangoon Road. It's, uh, it's, it's actually situated right to my left and we'll take a look at it soon. It's a big fish at the Helping Hand. Thank you very much, Shung. Thank you. It's been Thank great you so talking much, to you Luke. and you have a wonderful, wonderful setup here. Dear community, please come down and give them a support and we'll be seeing you here soon. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Let's take a look at what tackle they have inside.